एक ओंकार सतनाम करता पुरख निरपौ निरवैर अकाल मूरत अजूनी सह भंग गुर प्रसाद जप आद सच जुगाद सच है पी सच नानक होसी पी सच कहा बुद्ध प्रभ तुछ हमारी बरण सकै महिमा जो तिहारी हम ना सख्त कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी हम ना सख्त कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी सतनाम श्री वाहिगुरु साहिब जियो सब माली ने हम कहयो यह पी भेत सुनाए गुरु नानक पाछ गुरु भए तिनको देह बताए सब माली ने हम कहयो यह पी भेत सुनाए गुरु नानक पाछ गुरु भए तिनको देह बताए वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह तन तन साहिब श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब महाराज जी दे पावन दरबारਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੁੜ ਬੈਠੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰੂਪ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਆਓ ਮਨ ਬਿਰਤਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਕਾਗਰ ਕਰੀਏ ਧੰਨ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪਾਵਨ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵੱਲ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰੀਏ ਗੱਜ ਕੇ ਆਖੋ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਉਪਦੇਸ਼ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਤ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਣਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਲੈਣ ਕਰੋੜਾਂ ਹੀ ਪਾਪ ਮਿਟ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆਖੋ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਹਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਆਫ ਧੰਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਐਨ ਓਪਰਚੂਨਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਕਲੈਂਸ ਆਰ ਸਿਨਸ now what does it mean when we sin to sin means to commit an action which carries a weight which carries a negative weight it is something which stains the intellect it is something that torments us it is something that ultimately is a bad action that like all other actions we do will reap a consequence which is not good for us and no no one wants to live that kind of life because we all live a life where we have committed many mistakes and coming into the satsangat we have the opportunity to not just purify our minds by listening to kirtan by listening to katha by doing seva by doing part not only to purify our bodies by applying ourselves and effort to the service of the guru and the sangat we have an opportunity to become pure ourselves by cleansing our pap from our karma and guru sahib ji doesn't just clear our sins doesn't just clear our pap for us in a way and that purifies our mind guru granth sahib ji bani tells us that when we become the beloved of akal purakh when we fall in love with god when we fall in love with guru sahib ji that we are not even called to give an account for our karm and that is where the guru gives the sikh mukti where the sikh does not go to narak because when they die and before they pass the guru stands with them when they test when they recant is to be called in the court of dharmaraj so a gurbani di upadesh hai we come into sangat one of the things we must take away is reading gurbani and many times guru sahib ji gives us in the gurbani di upadesh to read gurbani to sing gurbani to come into sangat and meditate upon the naam ਇਹ ਵਾਰ ਵਾਰ ਉਪਦੇਸ਼ ਧੰਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕਿਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਤਤ ਹੈ this is the essence so when we think about sikhi think about this think about these things think of our purpose not just for coming here today but our purpose for being on this earth and this will come when we start to read gurbani ourselves we have later today a q and a session 
ਸੋ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਥਾ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਮਾਪਤੀ ਦੇ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖੀ ਦੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਸਮਾਂ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਆ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਲਾਹਾ ਲਈਏ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਅਪੀਲ ਯੂ ਫੀ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਜੁੜੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੰਗਤ ਦਾ ਲਾਹਾ ਲਈਏ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਹੋਰ ਕੀ this is a place this is a holy place the guru sahib ji has given us but what do we mean by it being a holy place it is a holy place because it is a place where anyone can come and be fed it is a holy place because anyone can come of any color caste creed or religion and listen to gurbani it is a holy place because it is a place where people can come and learn the art of the warrior in today's katha pai ratan singh ji tells us of how the gurgaddi went from tan sahib sri guru nanak dev ji to guru gobind singh ji and where we got to in the present day and this is very important i will tell you why this is very important in just recent days in mainstream media an article was written saying that at the time of sri guru nanak dev ji the guru nanak dev ji was a hindu reformer and guru nanak dev ji was a hindu reformer and the, the movement that guru nanak dev ji developed was a part of hinduism as allegedly were buddhism and jainism now we live in a times where it is normalized for people outside of a religious group or community to give an expert opinion on that group of community in a way that diminishes the lived experience tradition ancestry wisdom and native knowledge that we have for ourselves we know who we are guru nanak dev ji was not a hindu reformer guru nanak dev ji was the bringer of truth to this earth how could guru nanak dev ji have been a hindu reformer when the muslims saw guru nanak dev ji is a peer when the buddhist saw guru nanak dev ji is a lama which hindu reformer spread dharm from makkah to baghdad to all of through the arabic world to say that this is allah this is why guru guru nanak dev ji was not a hindu reformer guru nanak dev ji was the puran avatar of sat guru in this jug so forget what anyone else has to say bapu nu puchho guru gobind singh ji ek din sangat vich baithe te maharaj nu ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਕੌਣ ਸੀ ਸੁਣ ਕੋਈ ਕਹੇ ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਵਿਸ਼ਨੂ ਦੇ ਅਵਤਾਰ ਸੀ ਕੋਈ ਕਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਦੇ ਅਵਤਾਰ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕੌਣ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਜਵਾਬ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਨਾਰਾਇਣ ਕਲਾਤਾਰ ਜਗ ਮੈਂ ਪਰਵਰਿਓ ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਰੱਬ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਥੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਹਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਰੱਬ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਦਸਾਂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਜੋਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਤੱਕ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਤੱਕ ਖਾਲਸੇ ਪੰਥ ਤੱਕ ਗੁਰ ਗੱਦੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਕੋਈ ਗੱਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਕੋਈ ਅਥਾਰਟੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਕੋਈ ਆਪਣਾ ਪੈਰਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਟੈਟਿਕ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਥੈਟ ਇਵੋਲਵਡ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਥੈਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸਪਰੈਡ ਦਿਸ ਸੀਡਸ ਫॉर ਐਂਡ ਫਰਮ ਥੇਅ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਦ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਪੰਥ ਹਾਉ ਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਸ ਦੇ ਗੁਰ ਗੱਦੀ ਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਅੰਗਦ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ देयर आर टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स टू रिमेंबर दैट गुरु अंगद देव जी डिड एट दैट पॉइंट वन गुरु अंगद देव जी डेवलप्ड द गुरमुखी लैंग्वेज एवरी गुरसिख नीड्स टू लर्न दिस लैंग्वेज एवरी गुरसिख शुड नो द पेंथी अखरी एवरी गुरसिख शुड नो देयर महारनी इनसाइड आउट बैकवर्ड्स एंड साइडवेज ए अपना अभ्यास है दैट टीचेस अस टू कनेक्ट आवर कॉन्शियसनेस आवर फोकस आवर ब्रेथ the sound that we create and how we listen it is a meditation for us the old gorsex practiced 
So Guru Angad Dev Ji implemented this language and Guru Angad Dev Ji implemented wrestling. Malakhara Guru Angad Dev Ji ne chalaya. Now, we know what Guru Nanak Dev Ji started. We know what Guru Arjan Dev Ji gave Shahidi for. We know what Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji gave Shahidi for. We know why the Khalsa Panth was created. Yet we are exposed to accounts where we have to constantly see what other people have to say about this. In part, that is our fault. Because what do we consume? Guru Sahib Ji has blessed us where we have these original sources. And in today's vachar, in Sikhi, we must know who our Gurus are. We must know the lineage that was had because even today, many maybe even of our families, many maybe even of our friends are followers of fake Gurus and might try and direct us in that direction only to be exploited. So this happens a lot. And it's like Sangat Nu Bhenti hai ke e jeda ate aasa pa sunana ya apa gaan sunana ya When you talk to people instead of doing nindya chugli of other people let's do vachar on the things that we are saying and share this knowledge into our community So if someone says listen yo do you know that this people believes in this guru you can say no listen and Panth Prakash written by Pai Ratan Singh Ji Pangu whose grandson was Pai Metaab Singh Ji his grandson was Pai Rai Singh Ji, who was one of the Jathadars of Buddha Dala, the founding of it. He said this, this is the Gurgaddi. So this is the importance of the Prasang of the Atiyas that we will be doing Vichara on today, Hanji. <laughs> so Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Atiyas is now finished at the point of Panth Prakash. The Atiyas was said by Pai Ratan Singh Ji to Captain Murray. So remember, Captain Murray is a political agent of the East India Company, who at the beginning of the 1800s has been tasked with collecting the history of the Sikhs. And in this, he is accepting the account now that Pai Ratan Singh Ji has given him. Having told Captain Murray of how Guru Nanak Dev Ji travelled extensively around the world, Captain Murray now asked, now tell me your account as someone from within the Khalsa Panth, as someone from within one of these prominent families of the account, you tell me of the succession of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Guru Nanak Pacha Guru Pai Tinko Dev Batai. And Captain Murray says, Tell me of who did Guru Nanak Dev Ji did give, give their path Shahi to? Because remember, the basis on which Panth Prakash was written was when the political agents were tasked with a very important question. These Sikhs rule the north of India, what is their legal authority to rule? And when they came to Captain Murray and asked for that legal authority, Captain Murray said, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is our Padsha, they gave Bachan that we will do Raj, this is why we do Raj. We have no written account from any other emperor, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is our Padsha. So in this important lineage then that Pai Ratan Singh Ji has given, Captain Murray says, tell us then of this succession of this Padshahi. So Pai Ratan Singh Ji says, I then went on to give him an account of this history. The Guru Nanak Dev Ji gave the Padshahi to Guru Angad Dev Ji. The Guru Gaddi was earned through Seva, just like Kirpa and the Guru Kar even today is earned through Seva. It is earned by coming here with humility, it is earned by coming here to serve others. It is earned by coming here, by renouncing the ego and taking virtue from here. So in this way, Guru Nanak Dev Ji went to the Durbar of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and performed the Seva of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. That from Pai Lena, he was transformed into Guru Angad, the one who was one with the body of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And in the way that Pai Ratan Singh Ji has already now described to us the Katha of Pai uh, Ratan Singh Ji's account of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Pai Ratan Singh Ji says, if I was to do the same with Guru Angad Dev Ji, then this volume would become so extensive. Because Pai Ratan Singh is trying exclusively in his Granth to deal with the history of the Panth and the history of the Gurus serves as the foundations of that. Pai Ratan Singh Ji tells Captain Murray and remember he tells us in his Granth read these other Granths as well as Gursikhs we have have you read this book have you read this book this is a great helpful book in everything in life 
read all of these things but do not underestimate the power of your history that is your roots in very simple term your history is your roots do you know how powerful it is to be in touch with your roots and from Guru Angad Dev Ji because remember there was some challenge to the Guru Gaddi even at the time of Guru Narang Dev Ji where for a period of time Baba Sri Ji developed his own group which then eventually came within the fold of Sikhi and went on to serve the Khalsa Panth for centuries but Pai Ratan Singh Ji is very clear here that even Guru Angad Dev Ji did not pass the Guru Gaddi to his sons he passed it on to Guru Amar Das Ji again for the seva and they gave the dava for patshahi. They gave the dava for patshahi. So the gurus were patshahs. The gurus were patshahs. I think we are lost sometimes as a community, and I think it's because we have forgotten in many ways. Our ruler is here. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is here. Our kingdom is the one that we are manifesting, where we serve others, where we enlighten ourselves in Naam where we follow the Guru's message of Sikhi, where we train ourselves in the martial ways, the ways of survival, the ways of ancient man, and we try and bring all of these things into our community. This is the Padshahi of our Guru. This is the Padshahi of our Guru. People talk about Khalsa Raj today. If we read what Gurbani has to say, if we read what Sosaki has to say, if we read what Pant Prakash has to say, if we read what Guru Gobind Singh Ji has to say, in, uh, uh, in Sarblo Granth, if we read what Kavi Santok Singh says has to have in uh, Guru Nanak Prakash, we start to then understand what that is. We start to understand what that is. We are pursuing something, we have an idea about that thing. Do we even know what that thing is? I don't think so. What does Khalsa Raj look like? I've never had a convincing idea of it in present day from anyone. The idea that Guru Nanak Dev Ji gives us, the idea that Guru Nanak Dev Ji gives us and Guru Gobind Singh Ji fed is an ideal that at an individual level, at a community level, you learn basic things. What are those things? To meditate on Nam, to enlighten yourself with the knowledge of Gurbani, the knowledge of the Pagats, the teachings in Dasam Granth, of all of the Avtars, of all of the ancient battles, of the treaties of politics to develop yourself in martial arts in ancient times it was thought of to be a sing meant literally to be a sing it meant literally to be a lion it meant literally adopting the traits of a lion every sing would be taught pentra what does pentra mean have you ever seen a lion move out of sync it doesn't it's in a pentra, it's ready to defend itself, it's ready to attack. A saying used to be told, you have to 24-7 be in a pentra. From the minute you get out of bed, you should be moving in footwork. Your body should be working in sync. You should forever ready be able to move from one position to the other. This was the essence of being a saying, to do charper, to do these footwork drills, to spend hours doing these things to learn horse riding, to be able to tame wild animals, to be able to have an advantage over the use of these animals, to have cows, to do farming. Did Guru Nanak Dev Ji not take to the time to do farming? What does this lead us to? This leads us to our sovereignty. This leads us to, we can defend ourselves, we can look after ourselves, we can feed ourselves, and because we love everyone, we'll feed you as well, and if you need protection, you can come to us. This does not need anyone to vote on. This does not need anyone to declare. This calls on each individual to put into practice. It is easy to follow what other people have to say. It is easy to idolize other people. That is not what is required. What is required is for you to know what Guru Nanak Dev Ji has asked for us. Albert Einstein said, I don't know what the third world war will look like, but the fourth world war will be fought with sticks and stones. That's all right. Our kids grew up learning sorti. Our kids grew up learning korswar. We wear talwara. We know how to ride horses. We know how to grow from the farm. We know how to hunt. 
We know how to feed our family in a variety of different settings. We're going to be all right then. That's the mentality. Even these things, if we look in other religious scriptures, we find that these sacred ways of living, the enlightened beings who share wisdom with the rest of humanity, the warriors. When we look at the Tat of Sikhi, Sikhi doesn't teach separatism. Sikhi doesn't teach sectarianism. Sikhi teaches us to look at the Hindu and Muslim as equal. Sikhi teaches us to look upon all humanity and equal. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji traveled all over the world spreading that Sikhi. What are we so afraid of? Our seeds have been planted by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Our roots have been nourished by the bloods of hundreds of thousands of people. Don't come so shaken just when there's a bit of roller up happening. Be steadfast in what you need to do. Ensure that you are committed to that and make that your focus. Otherwise, it's very easy to get lost, Hanji. Bai Subbe, the whole of Hindustan, Matha takes to Guru Amar Das Ji. Babar, the ruler, we have learned this at Tiyas. If you have not, it is online. Babar, the ruler of Hindustan, Matha takes at the feet of Guru Nanak Dev Ji to take that Raj. Emperors came to Guru Amar Das Ji to bless them with that Raj. Unna ne Raj ithon lea, Guru Granth Sahib toh. Unna ne Raj ithon rea, Guru Granth Sahib toh. Aapa baar ka toh padka hi janneya. Paate shahi dawa jitan jitai. O inna dawa dita Maharaj ne inni bakshish Guru Ji ne diti. Ke o e paat shahi hoogi. Jedi kade haar ni sakugi. Duniya de vich koi hor paat shahi nahi hai. Jedi is paat shahi nu haar sakugi. On Ram Das Puran Mat Thai Or Puran Purkh Tan Sahib Shri Guru Ram Das Ji Raj Jog Takht De Malak Raj Jog What does it mean to be Raj Jog? It means to be a sage and a king What does it mean to be a sage? It means to be of pure intellect It means to be of pure action It means to be one with God What does it mean to be a king? It means to be able to defend yourself To protect your people it means to have the means and resources and ability to build a community. That is Raj Jog. This is what our gurus were and this is the message that they gave us to make us better beings. And then the Sodhi Bans. So the Bedi Bans and the Suraj Bans, uh, and out of the Suraj Bans in particular, the Sodhi Bans. So these are ancient lineages. These ancient lineages themselves go back to the most ancient lineages of that land. The lineage of Guru Nanak Dev Ji goes back to Satyug, and it is from that lineage that Ram of Tar took of Tar in Treta Jug. So this is not to say anything about we come from one faith or another. We have said this before. We need to reverse our psychology where we recognize the greatness of what our gurus were and what they gave us rather than constantly being threatened and being made to feel vulnerable by external views enforced upon us. And then Guru Arjan Dev Ji, who sat on the Tati Tavi, who sat on the hot plate and said, Tera kiya mitha lagga. That in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's message, where Guru Nanak Dev Ji tells us the essence to the Siddhs is to be one with Hukam is to accept hukum, know what has been has been, know what is happening is happening, know what will happen will happen, and learn that that is the will of Akal Purk and nothing else. There is... But when Guru Arjan Dev Ji gave that shahidi, their son Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji raised the sword, and they raised the sword and they killed many enemies. Miri piri do dikhai. And they brought forth within the community this principle of Miri Piri. Miri, one being temporal and one being spiritual. Again, building on this concept of Raj Jog. And in our psychology, we should start to reshape what does it mean to be a Gursik? What does it mean to be Sikhs as a community? What is it that our Gurus have given us? And what direction should we go in? Because Miri Piri entails not just being a, a saintly individual. It means in the world itself having influence. It means being present here. 
It means being potent here. It means being meaningful about doing what you're doing. Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji defeated the mighty Shah Jahan in the way that the earlier Gurus had given a dava, in the way that the earlier Gurus had given a proclamation that this Gurgaddi of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, this Path Shahi of Guru Nanak Dev Ji can never be defeated. In this way, Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji exemplified this by defeating the Emperor Shah Jahan and his forces on four separate occasions. And here Pai Ratan Singh Ji takes the names of famous Afghan warriors coming, who were Pathan warriors who had come all the way from Kabul with a force of 35,000 mighty Pathan warriors to face up against Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji. Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji and their Fodja butchered that army within one day. Such was the warriors that were in Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji's army. Such was the training that was in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's army. Think of the individuals, think of the mindset of those types of people and think about emulating that within our lives. There is nothing more powerful we can do. And in this way the Patshahi went on. The Gurgaddi of Guru Nanak Dev Ji continued in this way with the lineage moving. And then Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji, who was the son of Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, in a beautiful Sakhi, many of you may know, is that when Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji's jola touched upon a rose, touched upon a flower, and that petal from the flower was damaged, that Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji told them that you are, you are to be so gentle that you must care even for these flowers, you must care even for every plant, insect and living being. And in this way, Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji, where Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji was one who destroyed many enemies, was known as a guru, he was a great doctor, he was a great veterinary, he was a great ecologist, growing many vets and zoos and pet places where animals could reside safely and be treated when harmed, as well as rare and precious herbs being grown, that at times were used even to cure the emperors. So, Whatever field the Gurus went into, they advanced it such a way where the powers at the time bowed down to them. And they call Icha Kisnu Kandeya, Icha is desire. Pai Ratan Singh Ji tells us, because it is not just history here, Pai Ratan Singh Ji gives us some essence, some basics here that are required to be a Gursikh. They're a part of Gursikhi. I don't think there's any one of us that can say we don't have a desire. We don't, we don't have an ambition. We don't have something else we wish to pursue other than what we have just now. Because that is our nature. And Gurbani calls upon us to recognize that nature. Now, many people get driven mad by their desires. Many people in pursuing their desires destroy everything good around them in their life. So then, what do we do? Guru Sahib Ji tells us, if we come and do this seva, one of two things can happen. One is, Trishna Agana Prabhe Bujayi. One is, that fire of desire that is within you, the Guru will distinguish it. And you think, you know what, that, thought, that thing I wanted, that situation I thought brought me happiness, that thing that I desired and, and, and wasted money on and, and, and spent so much time on and in the end brought me only pain and misery, it's no good for me and I'm glad I didn't get it. That is wisdom. Or the other thing that can happen, particularly if it is righteous, is we get it from doing the Guru Seva. This is a part of Sikhi. When people have difficulty, when we have exams, and we don't come and do Ardas, help me pass. It is our faith that that Icha, that, that Ardas becomes Puri. And Bhai Ratan Singh Ji says that that is part of Guru Sikhi. Where you come to your Guru with your Icha, you don't hide it. Because it is there within you. It is there as a companion. It is the thing that we are trying to resolve and realizing once we get beyond a place of desire, we can start accessing higher truth. And then comes Guru Teg Bahadur Ji, who was the son of Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji, and Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was the ninth Guru. And Abu Guru Teg Bahadur Ji's Bani Sulok Mahala Nova 
नेक्स्ट वीक कथा वो भी हैपनिंग ऑन गुरु तेग बहादुर साहब जी बाणी और थर्ज डे अगेन द टाइम वो बी सेवन टू एट एंड वो बी गोइंग ओवर द बाणी ऑफ स्लोक महला नौवा सो गुरु अर गुरु हरगोबिंद साहिब जी वेन दे फॉर एन देर बैट हुज गुरु तेग बहादुर जी फॉर देर इज वेल सो गुरु तेग बहादुर जी वन पॉइंट वज नोन एज द ग्रेट वॉरियर पर इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ देयर लाइफ दे बिकेम समो अवर रोनसियर दे बिकेम डिटैच फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड they became a mesh within bairag and we find that in their bani in the slok the teachings that they give us it carries so much potency and wisdom par swarth hai ta jain sir dayo par swarth means other and pai ratan singh ji tells us that for others guru tegh bahadur ji gave their seeds so again if we look at the syllabus of history that is being taught today if we look at narratives that are are spreading today it is makes it all the more important that we preserve our tat it makes it all the more important ki assi apna sach nu janiye assi aap de sach nu janiye assi onu pehchaniye assi onu samb ke rakhiye assi onu aun wali peedi nu dassiye unna nu aapa hi sach dassna unna nu baaro ta nahi sach dassna thonu kis nu yakeen hai भी थोड़े बच्चे कि तो बहरों सच का पता लगेगा दुनिया तो खा जूगी वी नीट नो आर हिस्ट्री वी नीट नो हू वी आर एंड गुरु तेग बहादुर जी गेव देर लाइफ फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ अदर्स सच वज द ग्लोरी एंड ग्रेटनेस दैरीड कल युग एंड इन दिस एज ऑफ कल युग इन दीज डार्क टाइम्स एंड बाणी एंड गुरु गोबिंद सिंह जी राइटिंग इन बचित्र नाटक वे दी डिस्क्राइब दिस एंड एन एल ए सीख राइटिंग we see this is the greatest act of kaljug there will be no greater act than the act that guru tegh bahadur ji did why because the ancient religious and spiritual tradition of the lands were being threatened and guru tegh bahadur ji stepped up to give a sacrifice for that when guru nanak dev ji had rejected those very practices and principles because whoever comes to the guru for help the guru helps them and not in any other aspect of history prehistory do we come across this concept that the leader of one faith would give their life for people who followed another faith because simply they believed in the freedom to practice faith for all they gave themselves for humanity they gave themselves for the hind da taram the religious practices of that continent their sacrifice carries a great message and a teaching for us we apa saryan de na ko bairi na hi bagana we don't when we look at social media when we look at the news listen we are in kaljug do you know how hatred that stuff how much hatred that stuff carries do you know how much hatred that builds up within us read guru granth sahib ji's bani na ko bairi na hi bagana no one's our enemy no one's foreign to us be higher than that be above that as an individual sangat ji punjab to thode din hoye aaye and i know many people have many fears apa jithe punjab ch gaye hath jod ke mile sare kis gal layi when we follow sikhi when we have our guru's hand we have nothing to fear from anyone no one our blessings that guru sahib ji has given us no one can take from us sada ki bigad lenge sade ta bacche bacche galan de haaran ch paaye gaye we have endured such atrocities we are a resilient community we are resilient individuals it is a time to empower ourselves with strength not fear param karam rakh hinduan di aao ਇਹਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਹਿੰਦੂਆਂ ਦੇ ਧਰਮ ਰਾਖੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵੀ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਦਿਸ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਵਨ ਐਸਪੈਕਟ ਆਫ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਜੀ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਰੈਸਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰਸਿਕਸ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਹੈਵ ਕਮ ਅਵੇ ਫਰਮ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਰ ਨਾਉ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਇਟਡ ਬਾਈ ਫੇਕ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ of gorsiks whose communities go back to the times of guru nanak dev ji 
have lost the faith, have moved out of the faith. So where the tradition that our gurus gave us was spread everywhere, our communities are suffering. 500,000 Gursikhs in Bihar, where Sri Patna Sahib is, who were known as Nanak Panthis, who went back to the times of Guru Nandev Ji, are now followers of a fake guru. Hundreds of thousands of Sikhli Gursikhs, who made weapons for the armies of the gurus, are now following whoever will give them a discount on products or give them money for their children. So these are the problems that we need to address. These are the leaks that we need to plug. We need to see that wherever we are in the world, wherever our community is not flourishing, it is being lost, give our time and energy and effort to those things. Isn't Sikhi meant to spread everywhere? Isn't the truth of Sikhi meant to be adopted and accepted as the truth by everyone? Not in a way that enforces our religion on other people, but in a way that it is recognized that the truth is that there is truth in all religion. The truth is it doesn't matter what path you follow, if it is a path that is based on the meditation of God and surrendering your ego to God and serving others that will, will take you towards liberation. Is that not the essence of truth that can be found in other religions? So, this is indestructible. And then Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Tanaguru Kalgiya Padsha, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, who gave their four sons for this panth. When someone looks at Kisidi Kamai Kinniya, Kisidi Mend Kiya, Kisidi Kurbani Kiya, what input has someone put into this? In our panth, Guru Gobind Singh Ji has given us their sons. And then Guru Gobind Singh Ji turned around. In the way that Guru Nanak Dev Ji turned around and said to Pai Lena Ji, that Pai Lena, you are Guru Angad Dev Ji. You are part of me and I bow down to you. Guru Gobind Singh Ji said to their followers, Guru Gobind Singh Ji said to the Panth, the Khalsa, what is it? Pind ke prana. It is my body. It is my breath. I am embodied entirely and infused within the Khalsa. I have so much love for it. The Khalsa mero sat guru pura. The, the Khalsa is my guru. I have so much love for you. I have so much reverence for you. You are the soldiers of God. You have become one with God. You represent the Akal, Akali form on this world. Guru Gobind Singh Ji says this Patsha he is used. Grantha Pantha Khalas Vartanta. So when it comes to the succession of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Gaddi, it is to Guru Granth Sahib Ji, it is to the Khalsa Pant. If you have been taught otherwise, if you try, people try to tell you otherwise, no, that is it. Guru Granth Sahib Ji is our Satguru, and yes, power was invested into the Pant as a collective to those who followed the traditional and original ways. We can't get a hundred people together and say the Pant has got together, that is not how it works. E rola rapani koi hai gaya. E sinna ba sinna prampara turi aarai hai. Maharaj de taim to. E jidiyan amrit sanchar ho rai hai. The core of the message, the way of living, all of these things to the essence. And those who have carried that from those times and represent that. And then what does Maharaj say? The Khalsa is the one who has knowledge of the Atma. The Khalsa is one who has knowledge of the Atma, is one who is an enlightened being. The Panth is not just when a group of collective people come together. Gurbani calls on us to be enlightened. Gurbani calls on us to rise above everything that's going on inside us and everything going on outside us. Hanji. In the way that one light lights another light. Jime ek deepak ko leke ek duja deepak jagaya janda hai. In this beautiful analogy that Pai Ratan Singh Ji gives us, in the way the light of Guru Nandev Ji passed from lamp to lamp, in this way Pai Ratan Singh Ji tells us that light is invested within us as Guru Granth Sahib Ji. As a Sikh, apne vich inna purusa hona chahida ya ke je vadde vadde badshah aake Guru Granth Sahib ji de 
ਪਹਿਲੀ ਜੋਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਦੂਜੀ ਜੋਤ ਤੀਜੀ ਜੋਤ ਦਸਵੀਂ ਜੋਤ ਤੱਕ ਬਾਦਸ਼ਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ 'ਚ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕ ਕੇ ਏਡੇ ਏਡੇ ਰਾਜ ਭਾਗ ਦੇ ਮਾਲਕ ਬਣੇ ਇਹੋ ਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਅਤਾ ਆਸ ਗਵਾ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਆ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਗਿਵਸ ਐਵੀਡੈਂਸ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਨਿਊਮਰਸ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਬਿਲੀਫ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਕੈਰੀ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਅਸ ਐਸ ਗੁਰ ਸਿਕਸ ਜਉ ਗੁਰ ਤੇ ਗੁਰ ਹੋਤ ਭਏ ਅਗ ਦੇ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਥੇਰ ਵਾਸ ਨੋ ਅਦਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਸਕਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਹੈ ਦਾ ਗੁਰਗੱਦੀ ਕੈਰੀਡ ਫੋਰਥ and this is where we ended dohara sri satguru jo das paaye daye unke naam sunaaye and bhai ratan singh ji says in this way i made sure to give captain murray a very clear account that he could take back to the king and queen of england of the khalsa pant to ensure that they knew that in all official records of our community it should be clear that these 10 gurus guru granth sahib ji and the panth were bestowed with the blessings of padshahi tem hi bhute shah te lai apni kitab likhwaaye and to the point we made at the start then when other people tell our history because remember captain bari had gone to maulvi bhuta shah he was a muslim and pai ratan singh ji said to him listen you don't know about how all religions fight each other here you never go to someone else to ask about someone else's religion that is not wise and bhai ratan singh ji says he made sure to give a clear version of that history and told captain murray that he should check carefully the account given to him by Ma- butasha molvi check carefully the account that an outsider has given you about our community because they carry enmity with us and ithe katha di samapti hai so the katha is all on the khalsa pant uk youtube channel it can be followed there in a very linear way it only requires you to take out one hour a week to listen to to learn the history authentically in a way that you will be able to share at least within your family in a way that you will be able to carry within yourself in a way that at least you will know what sikhi is at least you will know what your history is at least you will know everything that's happened to us has got us to where we are today this is the power of atyas that maharaj gives us sad sangat ji on saturday the 15th of april there is a seven hour simran job happening uh, from 1 pm and i remember everything that is happening in the world that is happening everything that we have discussed today and the direction that we have been pointing in tate avi ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਕੇ ਨਾਮ ਜਪੋ ਭਾਈ ਜੀਵਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹੂ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਹੂ ਟਰੈਵਲ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਸਿੱਖੀ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਫੇਮਸ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਥੈਮ ਵੇ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਵੀ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਰਾਜ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਊਗਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਣਗੇ ਸੋ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਫ ਕੈਰਿੰਗ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਟੂ ਜਪ ਨਾਮ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਡੂ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਆਰ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਸੇਡ ਦੈਟ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਾਲਸ ਅਪਾਨ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਐਟ ਆਲ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਂਪਲੀਫਾਈ ਰਾਈਚਸ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ but the guru tells us the the khalsa raj will be one char varan ek varan karao wahe guru sain ko naam japao the khalsa raj will be one where we spread the mantar wahe guru the jap of wahe guru to the world o apa aap kariye o apa aap kamaiye jehda dhan apne ko laoga apa ohi duniya vich vandange kithe langar lagda kithe simran ho reya kithe shastra vidya sikhaya janda ਕਿਦੇ ਗੁਰਮਤ ਦੀ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹੀ ਦਾਵਾ ਆ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀਜ਼ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਆਰਮੀਜ਼ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਸਕਿਲਸ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਇੰਸਟੀਟਿਊਸ਼ਨਸ ਆ ਥੀਸ ਨਾ ਆਲ ਦ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਹੈਵ ਵੀ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਟ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਟੁਡੇ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਬਿਲਡ ਅਪਨ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਗੈਪਸ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਪਲੱਗ ਮਾਈ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਐਨੀਵਨ ਆਰ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਐਨੀਵਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ macro change if you want big change it starts micro it starts with you it starts in your own house it starts in your own gurdwara it starts in your own life and that micro effect as it starts to take place slowly becomes micro 
That's how we get kirpa. That's how we pace ourselves in the world when so much is going on around us to know our direction and to know that with every breath that we have, we are doing what our Guru instructed us. So in reading just the last two lines of the Tiyas, we will do Samarthi here and then Anand Sahib Ji part. And after the, the Samarthi today, there will be a Langa and there will be a Q&A and a and an opportunity to do some Vajar for the Sangat. So if I've said anything to upset anyone, I am sorry. If I had said anything to hurt anyone's sentiments, I am sorry. If I have said anything that has made anyone sensitive to what is going on in the times, I am sorry. But as a Pracharak, as someone who is trying to spread the message of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, as someone who has lived through many of these experiences, I owe to the Sangat with some integrity to say to us that pace ourselves, work on yourself, that anything that you see in the news, what percentage of it do you think is fake? I'm telling you, we don't even know what's going on in the world anymore. Bar kete sacha ni hega. Sacha pa andar lab sakadeya. Bar sanu jiddar nu marji te an de do rola ya. Pick your rola. Pick your argument. Pick your fight. Pick the one within yourself. There's nothing more powerful you can do than become a gursik. Then commit to the path of Guru Nandev ji. Then commit to taking amrit. Then commit to becoming a khalsa. They commit to practicing that Pat Shahi Dava that Guru Sahib Ji has given us. And then start micro. What about building that love within ourselves first? So, if Maharaj Sadhiti Kirpa Kare, may Guru Sahib Ji give us daya. May these values and virtues grow and flourish in our Khalsa Panth as me. And Khalsa Ji, Apanu Kade Koi Chi Da Khatrani Hagaya. Guru Nandev Ji has planted our seeds. Those roots have been flourished. In Jinna Koi Badadaya, Unna Ke Vadadaya. Always stay in Chardikla. Te Maharaj Daya Rakhe, Isitrahi Sangat Nu Jodke Rakhe, Pyar Bana Ke Rakhe Ji. Dohra Sri Satgur Jo Das Pahe Dae Unke Naam Sunaye. तिम ही बूटे शाहे ते लई अपनी किताब लिखवाए वाहिंगुर जी का खालसा वाहिंगुर जी की फतेह